All right, y'all. I got thoughts on web comics. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie, or thanks for joining us if you're new here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the Prince of Southland webcomic. I do have to say, I've been reading a lot of webcomics lately, and it's been making me a little nostalgic for my webcomic Wednesday series, because I can't remember when I where I left off, if I had Castle Swimmer in there, I don't think I did, and then I just started, I went through all of Lore Olympus, and I actually have quite a few webcomics now that I found either through Instagram or artists that I follow that I'm actually following like from the beginning So that's kind of interesting for me because I don't usually follow webcomics from the beginning I normally tend to find them later in the series and also I'm just impatient I always want to know what happens next even though I understand the artistic process being an artist myself I don't know how webcomic artists do it. I don't know if I ever could even though I would love to I probably want to write and then work with an artist because I don't I don't think I have that dedication. I cannot draw the same character and have them look consistently the same time and time again. But <laughs> I've been using webtoons a lot and as much as I don't like the like layout of webtoons because I find a lot of the times I like can't get all of a page on my screen. So I either just have like the speech bubbles or the character's face and it's kind of frustrating to me. That's why I like prefer the way that Tapas is set up and their full screen version is a lot nicer, just in my personal opinion, like their endless reading thing. I do think Webtoons is doing a better job of giving me recommendations for things that I actually want to read, whereas some of the stuff that I'm getting recommended on Tapas, I'm a little like, what is this? <laughs> Especially too, because a lot of the people I follow on Tapas, I now also follow on Patreon, so I don't spend a lot of time reading on Tapas because I get like early updates. But anyways, to talk about what I'm actually supposed to be talking about. So the newest chapter of this just came out, or episode I guess, because we're webtoons, and I realized I'm talking about it in my reading vlog that I'm filming for this week, but I didn't actually talk to you about it. So I figured it makes more sense if I do this before you see me randomly reacting to a new chapter. So The Prince of Southland follows Donnie. Donnie is, shockingly, the Prince of Southland. And I don't really understand what that entails. I'm not quite sure how the monarchy works in this story. It's a little, little wibbly-wobbly, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. I'm sure they'll explain it later. The story opens on Donnie in the midst of a scandal because he has just been caught kissing an android, which is against the law, and he somehow weasels his way out of going to jail because rich people privilege and he's like apologizing to the public for breaking this like statue of limitations, I can't remember what it's called when it comes around robots. Cut to him like sulking outside and all of a sudden some man is running away from getting shot and just bowls right into him and then they both proceed to one of them gets shot in the ankle and Dottie gets shot in the arm. And this is how he meets Jensen. What a meet cute. <laughs> to find the love of your life when they're running from a bounty hunter who's trying to kill them. And Jensen has just escaped from the witch, who is kind of this like underground crime lord. I don't really know if she's a human or an android. I don't think anybody knows yet. This is what she looks like. Kind of freaky. They end up back at Donnie's apartment and Donnie offers for Jensen to stay with him. There's a little bit of a kerfuffle when he figures out that Jensen has been framed for murder and that is why he is on the run, but he ultimately decides to trust him and let him stay at his place. And then, of course, what do you expect? Some romance ensues. I've never been able to roll an R that well. That was impressive. I'm definitely gonna listen to that on loop while I'm editing this. But yes, it is lovely, it is adorable, the art is incredible, it gives me so many feelings. I realized the other day, I think I talked about this in the vlog too, that I'm not good at like keeping a neutral facial expression while I'm reading. The other day I was reading this YA book and there was a scene where the dad and his son, his son's boyfriend and his son's aunt and uncle are all like sitting in the living room as the dad is like cutting up Ziploc bags to teach them how to make dental dams. And like the secondhand embarrassment I had was so bad that my face was like beet red. And I was like, nobody look at me, nobody ask me what I'm reading right now. And especially with romance, when it gets like really fluffy or they get to the point where they're gonna kiss, I just like try to hide my smile and then I just start grinning so much because I'm just so excited for them that they're like finally sorting their shit out. Ugh. And that's like a big thing. Although I do have to give props to this one for not being like too slow burnish that it didn't like 
take forever. <laughs> like they're definitely kind of built up to that. And of course, like the chapters are a lot longer. So there is quite a bit of content before we get to the, the first kiss. I don't know if that's a spoiler. I feel like you know they're gonna kiss at some point. So just to touch a little bit more on the plot, this essentially takes place in kind of, I wanna say like Detroit become human-esque society, but that's like the vibes that it gives me. You know, like every, I don't know, like dystopia, techtopia, whatever you wanna call it, where there's androids. And then of course the androids aren't fully like human, so they're treated differently. And then of course some androids start getting sentience, blah, 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 blah. And Donnie in particular feels like a certain affinity for androids because he has prosthetic arms, but he's keeping that a secret because he doesn't know how society will react to that because they're like not super fan of people being bionic because they like to kind of keep android world, human world separate. You know, your classic story of discrimination. But we haven't really fully like figured out what happened with Donnie and the android that he was kissing and there's definitely like a little bit more going on there where like Donnie's like I'm not opposed to being in a relationship with an android and he like works for an android who is like super awesome and she's like I'm actually gonna repair androids instead of letting them go to the garbage because like we're also people. He definitely like wants to be more open about things but feels like he has to hide parts of himself and parts of his own belief systems because of his dad, because he's always getting wrapped up in scandals and he has to kind of like keep this perspective in line. So besides Donnie and besides Jensen, we also have Donnie's friends, Monday and Lena. And can we just say like Monday is so hot when we meet her, she's in like this incredible outfit, just looks absolutely gorgeous. And then when we meet her girlfriend, Lena, like I want to be her, like I feel like the look that I aspire to in life is, I don't know if any of you have seen that like image of like the punk dude helping out the little kid. That's what I want. Like I want people to kind of be scared of me when they see me, but then like also when I meet them to, for them to find out that I'm just a cinnamon roll. And I feel like Lana's a little bit more aggressive in that hand, but that look, stellar. I cannot do a winged eyeliner to save my life, but if I could, I'd be doing it like her. <laughs> and Monday owns this club that Lana dances at and th we get like all sorts of more backstory in Lana and what's going on with her. But there's also like, not to be, I don't think this is a big spoiler, but there is this gorgeous scene where Jensen and Donnie go to Monday's club. Donnie actually takes him there because there's a piano there. And I love the way that Webtoons incorporates music. It is just so cool the way that they like bring together music and the art and the story and everything just to like make you feel like you're living inside of it because there's this gorgeous piano music that plays when Jensen is playing in that particular section. And I was just losing my mind because I was like, fuck yes, technology, fuck yes, all of this. Absolutely loving it much as we hate turf JK Rowling, sometimes I'm just like, if Arthur Weasley could see what we're doing with technology these days, mm, he would be over the moon. He would just be like blown away. Be like, this is wizardry. Like there is no way this is not magic. He'd just be so proud of the muggles with his little wizard heart and I would love him for it. I feel like I went off on a tangent there. But I feel like as, as I've been prepping to make this video, I knew it was gonna be completely incoherent and I was totally okay with it because I was like, eh, I feel like we need some unhinged content on this channel. And also I love this comic so much, it makes me a little unhinged. So here we are. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about with the comic. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to talk about with the comic. It's just so good. It's so lovely. There's like all these little great scenes, but like also, there's so much building up. Like there's kind of all these like little hints about like there's a lot about Jensen's past that we don't really know about. I'm kind of sus that like maybe he might be an android or have some sort of android parts. He has his fingerless gloves that he like refuses to take off, which is interesting. I'm, I'm waiting to find out what's going on there. Donnie too, we don't really know. Like, as I said, I don't know much about the monarchy, but also his like mom just dipped, which props to a monarchy where like the queen can just disappear and everyone's like, hmm? here we go. Society's still rolling, I guess. And we don't really know what's going on with that, but he's got some issues about that. And there's also so much about like the witch that we don't really know. And she kind of really, you know, almost has this like really screwed up maternal attachment to Jensen. But I also feel like there's a little more about Jensen's time with the witch that he's like not necessarily letting us in on. So I'm curious, I'm curious to see where it's gonna go. It's like one part 
mystery, one part like sci-fi adventure, one part romance, and I'm here for it. Like I loved playing Detroit Become Human and I feel like I'm very much getting those vibes from here, but like also because I'm not like inside all of the characters' heads, I don't know their motivations and I don't quite understand the decisions that they're making and that is just like keeping me riveted and like pulling me through the comic because I'm like, I gotta know. I gotta know what's happening next. I gotta know what they're gonna choose. It's, oh, it's a lot. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I was so stressed every time things happen. One other thing that I do have to comment on though is at the beginning of the thing, Jensen gets shot in the ankle. And I was like, okay, we're gonna find out he's an android because he just got shot in the ankle. No, part of the reason that Donnie lets him stay is because he's like, okay, like you need to heal, you can't walk. But this man's just like treats him in his apartment. Like shouldn't his bone be shattered? I feel like that's what happens when you get shot in the leg. But he just like manages to just take care of it fine. I don't know, maybe that's something in the Tectopia that I'm thinking too hard about. Maybe I think too hard about everything in general. Maybe that's why I'm freaking out about this comic and I need to reel it in a little bit. But I just don't understand <laughs> how he managed to do that. So we'll see. That's the whole other thing too, is the fact that Donnie works, his dad doesn't like that. He's like, no, we're rich and privileged. We don't have to work. How dare you try and get you to know your people? You're a prince. You're supposed to ignore them and think you're better than them. Didn't you get the memo? And it's just really funny to me because even though it's called like the Prince of Southland, I don't know how many times I'm reading it and I'm just like, I don't, I completely forget he's the prince until like something happens and they're like, hey, you're a prince and a convicted criminal. You two need to chill for a moment. And then they're like, oh, you want us to go fuck some shit up? And they're like, no, we need you to chill and then they just end up ruining everything anyways. It's like fun queer chaos and I am so here for it. I am definitely gonna link it below so you can read it. I wanna keep talking about it because I need someone to talk about it, but I also don't wanna give you all spoilers. So I'm gonna reel it in. I'm going to <laughs> go and figure out what the heck I'm doing for the rest of this night and I'm not gonna spoil it. And I'm gonna try and peer pressure someone I know into reading it. Although I doubt that will go well because I don't think any of my friends read webcomics. So if any of you do read it and want to talk about it, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to have a buddy to talk to this about because I love it so much. Also, if you have any other webcomic recommendations, please let me know because I did the thing where I like read it all in one sitting and then I like kept hitting the next button and there was no more chapters and then my heart shattered into a million pieces. So if you got anything to fill the void until like the next update, let me know. Although I think I'm almost at the point now where I might have like a comic that updates every day. So we'll see. Feel free to share your recommendations, share your thoughts down below and I should be coming at you real soon with a reading vlog at the end of this week. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this chaos, and until the next video, stay kind!